it's Miss Smith here. I have a new book for us today. If you enjoyed The Bad Seed that I read a couple of weeks back with my niece Michaela, I think you'll really enjoy this one. It's called The Good Egg and it is by Jory John and Pete Oswald. Cash Ware helped me pick out my next book, so I hope you guys like it just as much as my students enjoyed it. Oh, hello! I was just rescuing this cat. Know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. It's true. I do all kinds of good things, like I'll carry your groceries, I'll water your plants, I'll change your tires, I'll paint your house. If you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start, even in my earliest days. Back at the store, there were a dozen of us living together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and the other Frank. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly good. They ignored their bedtime. They only ate sugary cereal. They threw tantrums. They cried for no reason. They broke their stuff on purpose. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg. A very good egg. Nobody seemed to care though. Every night I was exhausted. My head felt scrambled. Then one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. They were everywhere. Yikes! My doctor said it was from the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure everybody was as good as me. I was cracking up, literally. Something had to change. I'd had enough. Getting some yolk put in. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and the other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in a bad carton, I said. Blah, 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 they replied. I left that night. I wandered from town to town. The hours became days, the days became weeks, I lost track of time. I was alone. Out there on the road under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I needed. I took walks, I read books, I floated in the river, I wrote in my journal, I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in, I breathed out. I even started painting. For once, I found time for me. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell 
started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. I started to feel like myself again. So I've made a big decision. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. This time, I know what I need to do. I'll try not to worry so much. I'll be good to my fellow eggs while also being good to myself. Here we go. Everybody missed me. I missed them too. Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hey, Greg. Greetings, Clegg. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. Hey ho, Sheldon. Hi, Shelby. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? Howdy do, other Frank. Sure enough, every once in a while, somebody's still a little bit bad, but it's not like before. Here's what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect, and I don't have to be either, and I'm okay with that. Yep, the old carton is back together. We're a solid dozen again. It's good to be home. Oh, yikes. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope that maybe you could also find some ideas of things that you could do to make you feel better while we're at home. All right. I'll see you guys later.